Alright guys, Tyler from our beginner airsoft loadout. And um, I am playing the role of the sniper in this loadout. And um, I'll show you the gun last. But um, I'm just going to start with all my gear. And uh, I really don't have too much on. This is a beginner loadout, so I tried to keep the gear at a low. And um, so I'm just going to start out with my goggles. These are Lancer Tactical OD Green goggles, safety glasses, goggles, whatever you're going to call these. These cost me $20 off of Amazon. Um, they're really good goggles. They come with this smoke lens, clear, and a yellow. You can call it something else, but it's just yellow. So, Alright, um, I do just have a regular hat on. Just uh, a hat. And uh, on my back, and uh, just keep in mind, guys, we are trying to keep this all under $150. I think mine was a little bit over, but uh, you'll be okay. And um, in this book bag, I just keep some extra BBs and anything else that I need. Snips, or whatever. Knife. And um, camos me up a little bit on my back. And um, this vest is a Lancer Tactical, Lancer Tactical, AK chest rig. This will cost you about twenty dollars on AirsoftStation.com. This is the Marpack color. Um, it fits me pretty well, and uh, I'm a pretty small dude. So um, yeah. Besides the vest, I do try and carry some electrical tape and my Allen wrench for my USP, my H K USP, but. I actually do not bring that. I didn't include that in this loadout because that was going to be over the price range. But I'll just show you what I have in here. Uh, in here, I have an extra CO2 cartridge for something I don't use. So just forget that. Um, the pistol I do use in this loadout, as you saw from the intro, uh, just comment if you like that intro. We worked pretty hard on that. And, uh, you know. But the. Sidearm I do use, if I ever use a sidearm, I rarely ever use a sidearm, so I just threw this in here. Is a uh, Colt .25, and uh, this is pretty good for CTV and shooting, you know, little kids or whatever. It's uh, it's really low FPS. I think on the package it said like 141 FPS. I think that's exactly what it said. I got it with some 12 grams, so didn't really include that in the price range, but uh. Yeah. Uh, in the vest, I also keep speed loaders for my sniper, which I'll show you in just two seconds, and some extra BBs, uh, .25s. And it's pretty much it. You can see my back here. Just got the camo shirt on and straps and whatnot. But um, yeah, I will show you my gun now. Put those on. This is the Well MBO2. I have limited space. But uh this gun will run you about a hundred dollars. So this is perfect for this budget sniper loadout. And um it's a pretty decent gun for closer sniping, I guess you could say. I did not include this scope in the price range either, because I bought this for a pellet gun and then this gun does come with a scope. So I didn't include that. And uh, this is the bipod that came with it. And uh, custom silencer. So that's it. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for me. We're going to go ahead and move on to Andrew. All right, guys. Um, um, this is my kind of running gun, medic, CQB. Uh, it's the close quarter stuff that I use. Um, got my Stinger P311 right here. Um, we just painted this actually in a hex design. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's got the uh, two-tone hex. It's got the black and tan and the black and OD color. So, then thought that was pretty cool. Um, got my lunch tactical goggles, my lunch tactical bottom mesh mask, both tan. Um, on me, I do keep a speed load, two speed loaders, one right here and one right here, in each of the mag pouches. 
Um, I am looking to get a drop leg holster, maybe two. Don't know yet. But uh, here's the next gun. The Tars 24/7 um, CO2 non bullback. I use this, and it's got my silencer on it. So from close range, you're gonna just pop around or two, and you know uh, they probably won't hear me. But it it is does have the hex square pattern on it. And my next gun is going to be the uh, Smith & Wesson MP40, which means military and police. Smith & Wesson MP40, uh, licensed by KWC, but this gun is really heavy. Uh, it's The mag is heavier than the gun, so it does have that cool sounding thing though because the mag is all metal. But I uh, put my laser on here just to buy come up to them and I just put the laser on them might scare them a little bit but uh, like I said I do use it as like a medic class gun and stuff um my goggles do have the smoke gray in if I'm playing in the day I'll use these if I um if I'm playing at night I will get the clear lens and put those in I do have the mesh mask it is can't really talk but I do have a hat on that I cut the bill off of and I just use it just use it like this and it goes <laughs> goes over my head fits fine it helps my hair not get too hurt by that but um might use my smog sometimes if it's like a cold day might use a little hunting thing but um I think that is it so uh stay tuned for this little part. Alright guys, so um, just a little ending note here. We do appreciate all likes, subscribers, and uh, comments. Whatever you have to view, whatever you want to do, I don't care. But um, just wanted to introduce this topic of interest here. Uh, we are starting an airsoft team, so um, I'm sure you guys are probably not looking forward to that, but we are, so. Um, we do appreciate all likes and subscribers, so um, that really helps out. And we and, do uh, read the comments. Yes, we do read the comments. We do check them daily. And um, so, thank you guys for watching this video. We will make more. We're going to try to make at least one every week, weekend. So um, we'll keep you guys posted on that. So uh, thank you guys for watching and subscribe.